Yo, what's up guys? What's going on? Zach or Immortal Resistance here and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Today, we are going to be talking about how to G-slide in Black Ops 3 after the most recent patch. The patch that came with the Awakening DLC did actually mess up G-sliding. You can no longer do it the regular way. You have to add a little extra oomph into it now in order to continue G-sliding around the map. Uh, this is a really, really useful strategy if you're playing objective-based game modes like Hardpoint or Domination and you want to get to the flag or the Hardpoint first or if you're trying to return to something like the uplink ball or the flag and capture the flag a little bit faster. So here's how you G-slide after the latest patch here in Black Ops 3. So you still have the three core fundamentals of the original G-slide. You're going to have to jump, you're going to have to press the crouch or slide button, and you're going to have to hit the jump button once again, all in a very short period of time, except now we're adding a little bit more into it, making it a little bit more complicated. Now, as soon as you jump the first time, you have to double tap triangle or Y, so Y, Y, double tap triangle, or whatever console you're on and then you're going to do the crouch jump at the same time and you should be able to g-slide once again in black ops 3 it's a little bit harder to do it's a little bit more tricky and it requires a little bit more hand work going on but you can still do it in black ops 3 it's definitely not patched as you guys can see in the background here so jump yy crouch jump again and you should be g-sliding all over the map if this video helped you guys out feel free to drop a like rating on it subscribe if you guys are new as always i've been zachary motor resistance i'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video stay happy stay positive have an awesome rest of your day peace out